Okay, so everybody, today is August 31st. It is 1051 in Florence, Italy, which means it is 151 in California, yeah, yeah, where I'm from. Hello. Anyway, so it is my second day in Florence, Italy, and it is my first time kind of being able to like sit down and kind of make a video or come up with some type of dialogue for y'all. These first, actually the whole flight and then coming here, it's been like crazy. Let me tell y'all about it. Okay, so it's 1.38. For some reason, we haven't boarded our flight yet. Oh, Eliza. All right, so the first flight that I took was from San Francisco to Berlin, Germany. It was an 11 hour flight. <sighs> Y'all don't even understand how I sat next to this funky girl. And then I said a row back from a crying ass baby. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against babies. They're super cute and all the stuff. But when you act like you don't smell your baby's diaper and when you act like you don't hear your baby crying and it's a plane full of people, come on now. For 11 hours, like, I tried to knock out on everything, but I keep on getting waking up by, eh, like, baby cries, you know? Anyway, but once that 11-hour flight was over, I was in Berlin, Germany. From Berlin, I caught a flight to Dusseldorf, Germany, which was about an hour and 10 minute flight, not long at all. And from Dusseldorf, Germany, I arrived to Florence, Italy. Woo! So my first night out here, I actually stayed at an Airbnb with someone I met through a mutual friend. He was like super amazing and it was the best thing that I had going for me when I arrived. <laughs> so I arrived there and we went out to go get some pizza and um, let me show you guys how that went. Okay, this is a momentous occasion. <laughs> We're out here. I like tomatoes. Oh, how are the tomatoes in Italy? They're amazing. Do you like, like tomatoes them. in America? No, I don't. They're stupid. And can we just have your name? <laughs> Mon Montana. This is Montana approved. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the tomatoes in America have a very low they IQ. Have, like, They're completely probably. stupid. <laughs> okay, and so what is this, my friends? That's a calzone. A it's calzone? a croissant pizza. <laughs> croissant pizza. You guys, there's artichoke on my pizza. I don't ever have artichoke on my pizza. I love artichoke cards on my pizza. <laughs> And then there's wine. For some reason, when I arrived in Florence, I did not have an appetite. Like, I don't know why. Different people say different things. So one person told me it's because of the heat out here. And let me tell y'all, it is hot and it is humid as hell. So it could possibly, possibly be the heat. Then there's the whole jet lag thing. Like, my body isn't used to this time difference. And so times that they're eating out here, I don't really have an appetite. But I don't really know. New angle, who this? Anyway, so that was the first night in Florence. It was like, it was really cool, you guys. Um, and the Airbnb that we stayed at was right across from Il Duomo. And you could see the building and the cathedral and the dome. And it was so, it's so beautiful. It was, it was surreal as hell. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw it. If you don't, then you should be following me already. But that was the first day there. I couldn't have imagined it any other way. We stayed up until like 2 o'clock in the morning, talking, walking around. It was like dope. Great first night. <laughs> Great. So my second day in Florence, Italy was freaking amazing, guys. Okay, let me tell you why. So, I went to Il Duomo. That's the dome, right? 
So, a quick history lesson on Il Duomo. So, the dome, the creation of the dome actually started in 1296, right? So, they built the base of the building, but couldn't figure out how to complete it and create the dome that they wanted to make. So, from 1200s all the way to the 1400s, the cathedral was not completed. It actually didn't get completed until 1463. And then the beautiful part about the man who created the dome and helped complete the project is that he was a self-taught architect who they say was also homeless. Popping, right? You never know. You never really know. So it's beautiful as hell, right? And me and Mariah, or myself and Mariah, me, Mariah and I, Mariah and I <laughs> had the opportunity to actually go all the way to the top of Il Domo and see the whole city of Florence. Super dope. All right. But what they don't tell you about getting up there is that you have to climb 453 steps. It was... I could really show you better than I could tell you. So let me just show y'all real quick. <laughs> Y'all hear that lady talking about your legs will be shaking. Well, boy, was she right. And we was like maybe halfway up. <laughs> so, I thought we made it far. Yeah, we still have to make it all the way up there. <laughs> so, not halfway. We got 300 steps. Oh, we got a like 100 more. more. We got 100 more or so. Dome. Yeah. <laughs> the inside of the dome, you guys. So, quick note that beautiful art and the completion of the dome was actually paid for by Le Medici family by the Medici family. So the Medici family was um, a very wealthy and influential family in Florence, Italy. And they got their wealth because they started a bank and then they would invest in important people, right? Turns out that one of the people that they invested in actually became the Pope. So once he was the Pope, like they were on, right? So the Medici family basically finished for the completion of the dome, which is why on the dome you actually see pictures of the Medici family and they're in heaven, not hell, because there's a heaven and hell in the paintings. Um, but yeah, it's pretty influential, right? That you have to walk, literally walk, up 453 stairs. 453 steps later. And just a fair warning, um, these videos and pictures do this monument absolutely no justice. Like, none at all. But it was pretty and I could see literally all of Florence. Popping. All right, so you guys, once again, right? Beautiful, 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 beautiful experience. <sighs> Let me just, I'm gonna upload a, a video for my Snapchat. Why the chore? So, 
But Ryan and I made it all the way to the top, guys, up 453 stairs. And this is after we go eat, drink wine, and I lug my three big ass suitcases down five flights of stairs. But you know, nonetheless, we do the trick, we make it to the top, I get to the top, and I get like really nauseous. Like I just don't start feeling well, right? So I was like, sit down, take a seat. So I sat down, and then I had an epiphany like, big, you need to throw up. <laughs> so I very gracefully, <laughs> very quietly, very quietly walked over to a garbage can that was at the very top of the dormo, and I very cutely, <laughs> quietly, and discreetly, I had to throw it, y'all, I had to let it out. <laughs> I had to. So after, you know, we got to enjoy El Domo, we went to the museum um, that's based on the Domo. And it was freaking, once again, beautiful, right? There was a lot of um, originals as well as replicas of famous Italian art that is displayed inside of the cathedral and on the cathedral. And it was just super beautiful to see with your own eyes. Fair warning. No flash allowed in there. It doesn't matter if it's your cell phone, text messages, or if you're taking a picture. Picture, no flash, because they will say something to you like they said to me. Also, don't step too close to the art, because um, a buzz will start going off. And then they'll say something to you like they said something to me. I was just kind of too excited to be there. <laughs> Nonetheless, I got to see a lot of great stuff with my own eyes. Let me see what videos I can get for y'all. There was music. Il Grande Museo del Dumo. The big museum of Dumo. <laughs> All right, you guys, at this point, there's no... I was so into it that it's really hard to record everything. And then while you're recording, you're not even really able to capture all of the beauty in the video. So y'all don't even, although it's very beautiful in the video, you don't even understand. You can't, you probably can't comprehend, but you couldn't imagine how much more beautiful it is in, in person. Like... Every day I see it, I'm just like, this is fake. This is unreal. This is so beautiful. Because it is. People come on. <sighs> so, yeah, you guys. That was my first official day in Florence, Italy. And it was fun. And I got to see a familiar face in my soror. So, y'all know I was happy. I was super happy. Super happy. Well, stay tuned. Because after I post this video... With the next following days, I'll be apartment searching in Florence, Italy, where I don't speak the language, where I don't know anybody, and where I don't have a whole bunch of money. But we're going to see how this goes. You know, God always got me or whatever, so I know it's going to work out, and I'm just going to share it with y'all. <laughs> anyway, see you soon.